Hello and welcome to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website, ExcelDashboardTemplates.com, where you're sure to get some great charting techniques to help your company dashboards. And today we're going to actually help a civil engineer out. How cool is that? Uh, so a civil engineer on a web blog recently had posted this and said uh, they've got y po X points, Y points, and they have a UR value. They wanted a chart that looked like this, where uh, it's an XY scatter sort of chart, uh, but it's got these different colored nodes. Apparently this is uh, used in civil engineering for um, when the UR value is greater than one, uh, that node point is not as uh, structurally secure or sound as the ones with green. So they've done some other calculations and come up with the nodes and the UR value, but wanted to know how can I make a chart to easily visualize this type of data. All right, let's go ahead. So here's uh, here's what my representation was, and the civil engineer um, uh, liked it and wanted to know how to make it. So um, what this is is an XY scatter chart uh, with a couple of different series, and uh, we'll show you how to make that right now. So okay, so here's how we've got our data set up. Um, we've got the X and the Ys that the engineer gave me, and we have the UR value for each one of those. So these are just numbers that are representative there. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to create two different XY scatter series uh, that we're going to plot. The first one is going to be the green, and here's the green X's and the green Y's. And then the second one is going to be the red X's and the red Y's. Real simple formula to, to go ahead and create these. Uh, this is the power of NA, so search my website for that and uh, you can see a little bit more about how to use NA in charts. Excel, uh, this NA function, NA uh, with two parentheses, uh, will, will not plot that data point. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for the green X's, we're going to check over here and say if the UR value is less than or equal to 1, then it's green. And so go ahead and give me the point in column A2. Uh, same thing for the Y, if it's less than or equal to 1, then go ahead and give me that one. Uh, we're going to do just a, a little bit the opposite for the red portion here. If it is greater than 1, uh, then we're going to show what's in A2. Otherwise, plot put in an NA. Uh, and so since this UR value is less than 1, uh, this should be pound NA. So we can use this formula, formularic. Uh, we just copy that down and uh, it gives us all of the values in there um, that we're going to plot. So the quick and easy way to plot this XY scatter chart is to highlight uh, the green nodes first. We're going to go up to your insert ribbon. We're going to do a scatter chart and then there's this one scatter chart right here, scatter with markers only. We'll click on that. Let me move the chart up here so that you can see it a little better. And um, uh, so you can see it's kind of plotted out a little bit of what he wanted to do. Now we need to add the red series here. The uh, easiest way to add the red series is click on the chart, go up to the select data from your design ribbon. Uh, it's in the data group. You now see that we have, um, uh, that we can add a series. So we're going to click on add series. Uh, we'll just call this the red series. And the X values, we want to go ahead and highlight all the X values. And in the Y values, we want to highlight all the Y values, and we click on OK. Let's go ahead and rename Series 1 to the green series. So you can see that in the legend, we click on OK. And it's now getting pretty close to what we want to do. Um, well, he wanted any of the ones that uh, are in the red series, I'm going to right click on those points, hit Format Data Series. We're going to change the marker fill to a solid fill and give it a nice bright red color so it stands out. Uh, we're going to click on the other ones here that are from the green series and do the same thing, but give them a solid fill of a bright green. Now, I want the nodes to look the same. I don't want them to be diamonds or uh, squares, so I'm going to go into the marker options. I'm going to do built-in. I'm going to change it to a square. We can choose any type of square. That's actually a circle, looks like. Uh, let's do a square, and then I'm going to change the the points here to about, oh, I don't know, let's do 40 point. And then I'm going to click on the other one, and you can see they get really large. Marker options, built in, we've got that same square already chosen. And we want to change that to about 40 points so that they really stand out. Okay, let's close that down and take a look and see what we have here. 
Um, so the chart's getting pretty close. We've got uh, the large ones here that he wanted to see. Um, if we wanted, we could add some uh, vertical grid lines. So let's do uh, layout, grid lines, primary vertical, do the major ones. So now you can see the one, two, three, and four. So it might be easier to call out those points. The only issue we have is these are showing half points on the vertical axis. I'm going to right click on that, format axis. We're going to do um, change the major unit from a half to actually be one. And uh, there you go. Um, so uh, these nodes apparently on the wall are going to be uh, not supported as well on the building structure. And these ones are OK because of the UR value. So uh, you can see, let's go ahead and change something. Let's change the 1, 1 to a value of 1.5. And you'll notice that it changes it to red because the formula up here changes the uh, series from a green to a red. And that point now shows up as red based on the new UR value. So hopefully uh, that's going to show uh, my civil engineer friend how to do this and uh, hopefully make all our buildings safe and sound. Thanks. This is Steve True with ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our web blog and sign up for our uh, podcast or our you know, user list so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques. Thank you.